I'm out here doing my very best to grow and develop as a person. I'm analyzing myself and, and trying to keep everybody else out of it. Looking at me first, focusing on me. If you don't take your insincere ass on some goddamn. Okay, so I'm like everybody else in the world. I be watching YouTube clips and listen to tarot card readers, astrology people, just general randers and ravers. People talk about different stuff. So let me let me get this straight. So first of all, let me just pop off like uh, a sin of omission or commission. You know, no matter how you feel about the word sin or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Omission is, goddamn man, my bad. I didn't know I was hurting you. Shit, nigga, damn. It's something about me that just don't blend well with your element, man. My bad. And then commission is like, yeah, I know I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna do this, try to hurt you. I'm gonna do this, try to hurt you. So you do this consistently. Now the way I look at shit, I be like, okay. First off, I assess me. I'm gonna assess the fact that whether I'm judging you. Off of somebody, especially since I look into astrology and stuff like that, I had that real bad. As soon as I started looking into it when I was about 14 or 15, I think the first thing it did would cause a division for me. Oh, I'm an Aquarius. I'm like this. I'm not like them. I'm not like that. Even among the air signs, I'm not like Gemini. I'm not like Libra. Even the Aquarius. Oh my God, there's so many posts that say uh, we're the most differentiated amongst each other in a sign. Oh my God, we're just so different from day to day, minute to minute. I got cousins that's born on my birthday. we so fun fundamentally different so i might spend the first 12 months checking myself to make sure that you know it ain't something in me right so like like the next 12 months and this all this shit is some commission shit you are literally uh psychological warfare you know uh emotional torture just trying to do things to bring a motherfucker down and you know, just just whole ass shit just general whole ass shit Behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, you just a real fuck nigga, a silly ass bitch. It's just what you do is who you are. So, okay, so I'm spending the next oh, 12 months, so we coming up on 24 months, and I'm like, am I just judging them according to an interaction I had with somebody else? Because like I said, that's part of my process because I look into astrology. Am I judging him because of the last Taurus I fucked with? Am I tripping off of him because that last Aquarius dude I fucked with was? Am I am I tripping off of her because she remind me of my mom and she had every reason we have a tumultuous relationship and I'm an air sign and she's a fire and uh, fire use air for energy and you know it it, it it blazes them up you know just thinking about elements the science part the astrology of it well oh my God well it, you know what maybe I didn't lo I didn't got lost in this bullshit maybe I need to go back to my roots Lord what have I been speaking what have I been walking towards what am I doing am I focused on me so you do all of that so I'm thinking Think about 36 months I always i got this theory too if you spend 37 i mean if you spend 72 straight hours with a person you gonna know them you don't know everything about them but if you just i'm talking about in lock up with somebody for 72 hours you can tell like nah you ain't the person for me but okay so this is what i'm tripping off of so i understand forgiveness and all of that i get that i dig that you accept because the motherfucker that had to forgive me my granny rose the perfect example uh, I used to get in trouble for stealing. We grew up, we wasn't like impoverished and I'm like ashamed of my life poor, but I know that I have a problem with avarice. Avarice is greed, eager for gain. It don't matter how much money I got, I want some more. And I know that's an issue. So I try to keep my head focused on my lane, what I could do, what I can't do, making smart choices, and not getting caught up in the ideology of get some more money because I already know it'll go too far. You know what I'm saying? It's like an alcoholic can't take a drink. I can't get my hands on no bag, baby, because I'll be bagging it up. Okay, so that's the whole thing. So I'm sitting here listening. And folks, like, you know, they, they, they want forgiveness. First of all, you behind the scenes doing some old fed ass heck ass you know what i'm saying um i i, I could do it because i can because i know the cold ass shit you know what i'm saying just attached to a motherfucker just because you know so you a whole ass nigga you ain't got it in you to speak no real words of life and or death to yourself and to no goddamn body else you appear it you mimic what everybody else do you know what i'm saying all this old whole ass shit so say i did this the whole purpose my bad i, I can't help that it took about Four minutes and 20 seconds for me to get there but this is the whole purpose you really finna you really finna come to me and ask for forgiveness after you have commissioned seeing my ass after you have done everything within your power to try to break me and tear me down you was on some guantanamo bay get mo waterboarding type shit psychologically uh, technologically emotionally 
Really. You gonna come to me and ask forgiveness? And you gonna believe me when I smile on your face? And be like, oh, it's okay. Shit. I don't think that's a good idea. Like, motherfuckers be like, quit snitching, Kiki. Nah, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. I don't think you need to trust that. I think you need to find another route. Because uh, if that's what you've been out here doing, just fucking over folks and fucking over folks and fucking over folks, and you can talk about the nation, you can talk about the world, you can talk about churches, you can talk about all this stuff and coming to apologize and all of that stuff. I understand that. Yes, we do have to work on forgiveness and we have to accept the things that we've gone through and not dwell on the past. But don't come up in my face talking about let's have some drinks and let's shake hands and let's be friends. Bitch, don't do that to me. You know what I'm saying? Here you go again with the psychological torture. Now, every time I sit up and look at you, I got to be thinking to myself, okay, what did we talk about? We're not going to think about how they hurt you. We're not going to do this. We're not going to do that. Move your mark ass on. Go the fuck on some goddamn work. All this whole ass shit you did, that's all you can do is apologize. All that whole ass shit I did, you know what I, all the, the deepest thing I could do was come clean and be like, hey, yo. That's why I made phone calls at least once or twice a year. I don't let bullshit stay up in my heart for no more than six months, man. So, I, that's why I do my dirt all by my lonely. I, cause, but, man, don't do not do that. I'm not finna sit up and fuck somebody over and then want to sit up and have brunch with them and tea and all of this shit. No, we ain't finna be kicking it. What? No, that ain't what forgiveness is. Forgiveness is moving on and not judging the next person you come in contact according to the standards of what you've already been through. That is hard enough. You expect for me to be around you, a specifically toxic person? You must be out your rabbit ass mind. And then, like I said, don't do that to me because you're going to trust this smile. Everything's good. We straight now. Nah, don't worry about it. Shit, nigga. You a lick about to get hit. Take it from me. Don't do that. Don't go out there and do that, man, because everybody ain't going to keep it a buck. Everybody ain't going to keep it a hundred with you. They'll be like, no, no. What your boy said, I said it was cool, but I lied. I can't believe motherfuckers are still out here believing that shit. Like, no, I forgive you, but we not finna kick it. That's it. That's yeah, and that was the other part. And, like, you know, I got pop here, Libra. So, like I said, that's why I check myself first. I check my mind. I check my biases. You know what I'm saying? He will say stuff like, don't put all your eggs in one basket. You know what I'm saying? People will say shit like, you know, you don't have to be sorry to apologize. So you already know it's a fake, frozen it is. I say anything it is I need to say to get what the fuck it is I want. Ass motherfuckers out here. We've been doing that from Jump Street. But just on some GP stuff. So if you really are sincere and it really hurts you to know that somebody that you fucked over, if they forgive you but they don't want nothing to do with you, this would be the perfect time for you to sit up and do some serious self-analysis. Man, I'm talking about self-analysis. Look at you. Look into your mom. Look into your dad. I, like I said, my brother said, well, man, that's what you do, man. This, this, this. So this is what I do. You know what I'm saying? Look into your granny. Look into, you know, um, I had to tell my mom that she be, you know, tripping, bitching about her mom. I was like, look at the situation. I said, look at the time frame. I said, first of all, you grew up in the 60s. That was a trash ass time to be alive in black in America. Not as bad as slavery, but goddamn, it was horrible. Think about what your mama was going through. I said, you know, you just, you know, just try to... <sighs> Do your best, even if empathy to you is a sign of weakness, even if something like that ain't your regular MO, don't keep on tricking and conniving, trying to get your way, man. You're going to have to slow that down at the while. Man, it don't profit you nothing, man. You steal, you get stole from, you lie, you get lied to, you, you kill, you get killed. It is what it is. It's going to come back around, man, and if you really, truly... That's what repenting is. It's being heartily sorry. It ain't about going to church and I am delivered and all of that shit. It's like realizing that it's not just some fucked up shit you fucking did, nigga. It's some shit at work in you. And it's like, God damn, we got to get them demons off of you. No, because see, that's that, that's that holy roller bullshit. They're going to try to hit you with some oil, throw some holy water on you, pray on you and all of that. And then that's going to bring up some other conflicted stuff. You got to try to figure out the pathology of your psychological patterns, the emotional patterns. That's what these motherfuckers out here trying to do. Uh, you know, just, but no, no, just, mm -mm. That's, that's what you need to do. Don't try to be my friend again. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to, don't try to, well, we could, you know, we could forgive, we could, we could, we could be business partners. No, we can't, man. Then you still the same you, man. I need you to I need you to work on you. And the only reason I know you need to work on you is because I had to realize that I had to work on me. It wasn't no just jumping back and it's cool like that. You got to go through some time. You got to prove not to nobody else but to yourself that that's not a factor in your life no more. You know what I'm saying? 
my granny rose told me this she said baby you don't know who your friends are until you're about my age and i think i was about 20 or something like that she 80 now so she's about 50 or 60. that type of stuff is that shit that stand the test of time you know what i'm saying these people in aa i'm cleaning sober 32 years i'm like you know but like okay like no he's serious about that when he when he committed to that life he was about that life and he's still about that life he's still counting the days i've been cleaning this over 32 years eight months 13 days because it's on his mind like that it's in his head like that you know what i'm saying it man nah don't don't do that don't do that to you you cheating yourself out of perfect opportunity to be a better person so the next time somebody come around and mean you some good you won't fuck them over. And then I don't have to be worried about being conflicted about whether I'm walking in the right kind of forgiveness or something like that. Man, we be torturing each other. It's already hard enough living out here in this world. Shit is bad shit crazy. Shit is bananas in pajamas crazy. I'm talking about eight foot tall foam yellow, foam rubber, neon yellow, bananas in custom made blue and white striped pajamas crazy. At any time, if you didn't know what a TV was, if you saw a banana in a pajama coming down the street, man, you would think that the world was coming to an end. Shit is bananas in pajamas motherfucking crazy out here, man. Don't do that. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to nobody else, man. Don't, don't force yourself on somebody to make you feel better. I'm going to try my best not to do it. I'm going to need you to try your best not to do it, too. Because, first of all, if you ain't first just came up and been like, you know, I apologize. You you a fuck nigga and I know you're on some bullshit because you ain't even came right. It's a certain it's a certain amount of procedure that go into some shit like that. It's just mm-mm. Nah man, just mm-mm. It's already stupid out here. Don't make it don't make it more dumb than it got to be. God damn.